That's awesome, man. So, BC, dive in. I mean, I know probably everybody watching knows a little bit about your story, but why don't you kind of give us the, the 30,000 foot view so we, we kind of can get people up to speed? Cool, yeah. Uh, I've been in real estate five and a half, almost six years now. Uh, I believe August or September will be the six year mark. I'm somebody who grew up obsessed with athletics. I played basketball from age 10 till, you know, my second ankle injury ended my career in Europe at age 25 and change. So, you know, that 15 year mark of my life of from 10 to 25 was just sports, basketball, basketball, basketball. Yeah. People are partying. I'm in the gym. People are going home on breaks. I'm in the gym. Just total obsession. So when I came back to the States after uh, my second injury and I decided to stop playing, um, I went through a really tough period for about a year because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew I didn't want to do a nine to five. I was even going on job interviews and I was literally getting up in the middle of the interviews and just walking out and saying, okay, this isn't for me. Uh, like, literally, like I'm like, okay, dude, I'm out of here. And they're looking yeah. at me like, what the fuck, what's wrong with you? Um, obviously, everybody around me is telling me I'm nuts. You know, I, I throw the idea of real estate. They're like, dude, you don't own a suit. You can't sell shit, blah, blah, blah. And I just, you know, when I looked at the industry, it just made sense. You know, I'm coming from, again, athletics and building myself from the ground up and even being doubted in that. I uh, kind of lit the fire under my ass to say, you know what, I can prove these people wrong. But it's not just about that. It's about me achieving it, right? Me saying something and actually going through with it and doing it. And that's something I've always had as a man is like when I gave my word to somebody or I said I was going to do something, I always did it. Yeah. And that's kind of my mentality going into the business. So I uh, remember watching a little bit online of like Mike Ferry and getting signed up with this coaching right away when I started. And it was just nitty gritty, you know, just cold calling, door knocking and and all the hustle. And that's what I did. I borrowed my dad's uh, suit because I didn't have one. And I just switched out every day to try to look cool. And, uh, and a couple months in, I started documenting the journey on YouTube. And, and that's kind of how I started growing my social media. And I don't know where this guy called me a couple months in. We did a mastermind. And, you know, it was one of the worst days of my life because this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I called him off of one of his first YouTube videos. I'm like, Hey, B is hey Brian. It's Colton Lindsay. We're mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> were you guys mastermind about real estate shit or social media growth stuff? Like, what were you talking about then? Real estate and like the strangest secret and mindset and growing our real estate business at the time. That's awesome. Yeah, because that was my thing, guys. You know, I like you guys brought up mindset earlier. That's really what I focused on, and even like the people that I teach now, coach. Like, I have a program that I started a little over a year ago that already has like three hundred people in it actively. Uh, it's a monthly subscription, and I would say eighty percent of my content is mindset because that's kind of where I feel I step in. That's one of the reasons I'm so open and transparent about my life and everything I do. And I feel like that's a missing key in the industry and in the world is people just everyone wants the quick magic pill, silver bullet, one, two, three, but no one's really working on their mindset. And that's really what separates the top from everybody else. But it seems like not enough people are into that or preaching it and people just don't get it. 